Hi, my schoolers. You are welcome to my school channel, and my name is Abiola. Don't forget, in this channel, we are solving the Jam CBT Pass question for the subject mathematics, the year 2015. Stay with us because we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel and in this particular video segment we are solving questions 48 to 62. So right now we have question 48. The volume of a cone of height 6 cm okay, and base radius 5 cm is what? So we should remember that the volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h. V equals 1 over 3 pi r square h. Okay, so uh, we are given... We can take our pi as 22 over 7, okay, then we are giving our base radius as 5 centimeters and the height as 6, so that is 5 times 5, then times 6, okay, so we have 3 year 1, 3 year 2, alright, so at um, the numerator we have 55, okay, 5 times 5 rather, that's 25, times 2 that is 50 okay so 50 times 22 that should give us roughly um 100 and yeah 1100 yes 1100 okay over 7 so when we divide this we should have roughly 157.143 142 yeah there about so roughly we should have 157 centimeter cube remember we are working with volume so the units should be in centimeter cube so the correct answer is 157 so join me as we go back to the screen to select the correct option so look through the options provided and you will see option a 157 centimeter cube as the correct option question 49 the probability of an outcome a is 1 over 6 the probability of the b outcome is 1 over 4 if the probability of A or B or both is 1 over 12, okay, what is the probability of both outcomes A and B, okay? So that's, that's telling us we should look for A and B. And uh, we should remember from set theory, okay, this should be equals the number of A, all right, plus the number of B, minus number of very well so this is telling us that the probability of a or the number of a is giving us one over six that of b is giving us one over four okay then minus one over twelve okay so i can first um do this so i can take it all together whichever one works for me i can have 12 here 12 and 6 and 12 that is 2 2 times 1 i have 2 okay 4 in this is 3 3 times 1 i have 3 okay minus 1 over 12 so this implies 2 plus 3 this is 5 i can take it here 5 over 12 minus 1 over 12 LCM is 12, 12 and 12, 1. 1 times 5, we have 5. Minus 12 and 12, 1. 1 times 1, we have 1. So this tells us we are going to have 4 over 12. Or when we try to simplify, we have 1 over 3. So this is either 4 over 12 or 1 over 3. So let's go back to the screen to pick out the correct option. So the probability of both outcomes A and B is 1 over 3. Option B is very correct. Question 50. Given that Z equals, the set Z equals 1, 2, 4, 5, what is the power of set Z? Okay, so when you talk about um, power of set, it just tells you that the formula is 2 raised to the power N. That N means the number of members or elements in that particular set. So it's 2 raised to the power N. So what are the number, or what is the number of um, elements we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have just 4 members in this particular set. So that is 2 raised to the power 4. So 2 raised to the power 4 means 2 in 4 places. 2 times 2, that is 4, times 2, 8, times 2, that is 16. So 2 raised to the power 4 is 16. So the power of set Z 
is 16. Option A is very correct. Number 51. Calculate the value of x and y if 27 raised to the power x divides 81 raised to the power x plus 2y equals 9. Okay? x plus 4y equals 0. So we are asked to find the value of x and y okay so uh, we're just going to um, use the kind of i can say kind of long method to get this long in the sense that it involves us um, breaking down the processes involved okay so i want us to understand the process then once it's well understood we can apply the shortcut um, principles so at first this means that um or this can mean that x equals minus 4y because when this moves over it becomes negative so let's work on this this 27 means 3 raised to power 3 isn't it then we have x that's 3 raised to power 3 times the x we have 3 raised to power 3x okay divides 81 is 3 raised to power 4 into brackets x plus 2y so let's just save time 4 times x we have 4x 4 times 2y that is 8y so i can write this as 4x plus 8y okay then equals 3 raised to power 2 all right so remember divide means minus okay so i can strike out all of this all right and that will be 3x minus into bracket 4x plus 8y equals 2 very easy right so let the minus affect everything we have in the brackets here. So we have 3x minus 4x minus 8y equals 2. 3x minus 4x, I have minus x. So minus x minus 8y equals 2. So I can decide to move these values here so that they can have carry positive um, signs. Okay, So I can have x plus 8y. Already the 2 is positive plus 2. Okay, so at this junction, I can now slot in or uh, do a substitution. Anywhere x is found, I'm expected to put minus 4y. Okay, so let me just move this equation here. So I have x plus 8y, okay, plus 2 equals 0, where x is minus 4y. Okay, so that will be minus 4y plus 8y plus 2 equals 0. Alright, so remember you can go through this video clip over and again, okay? So uh, so that you can understand these concepts. They are very easy to use. Just uh, practice enough. Okay, so minus 4y plus 8y, that gives us 4y. How do I know that? Um, you are weighing someone 4 Naira and you have with you 8 Naira. So if you pay the debt of 4 Naira, you are going to have 4 Naira left with you. That for Naira is, no, is your money, it's, it's not a debt. So if it was a debt, it's going to be minus. But since it's your money, you are paying from the 8 Naira that you own. So whatever you have should carry a positive value. I hope that meets you well, okay? So I have 4y plus 2 equals 0. So if I send this here, I have 4y equals minus 2. Dividing both sides by 4. So I will have y equals minus 1 over 2. Okay, so if we substitute this into this or this, so if you put it in here, you are going to have x equals minus 4 into brackets minus 1 over 2. Remember, this is a derivation from here, so you see the same thing. So we have x equals minus times minus, that is plus. So I have 4 times 1, I have 4 over 2. 2 here 1, 2 here 2. So that is x equals 2. That is, I can say x equals 2 and y equals minus half. They are all here. This is it. Then this is it. So 2 and minus 1 over 2. So join me as we go back to the screen to pick out the correct option. So I have x equals to 2 and y equals minus half. Option B is the correct option. Please remember that the My School tools are readily available for you for just a token of 1,000 Naira. So how do you get these tools? Just click on the link in the description below. It moves you to the My School website where you can get the My School mobile app or the My School software. And there you have access to thousands of past questions in Jam, Neko, Waek, and what have you. So we have questions. 
52 to solve we have simplify root 30 times root 40 so the first thing i did is just to produce this question here okay on our whiteboard this is our solution platform okay so this means big square root of 30 times 40 remember the rules of salt okay so this is Remember, 30 is 3 times 10, okay? And also, 40 is 10 times 4, right? So, I can still go ahead to say 10 times 10, that is 100. So, it's still correct if I say 3 times 4 times 100, right? So, if we move ahead, we can still say, we can split the roots now, root 3 times root 4, times root 100 okay so we have root 3 square root of 4 is 2 right square root of 100 is 10 so i would have 10 times 2 that is 20 times root 3 i will have 20 root 3 so we can see that that is correct if you multiply this 30 times 40 root 30 times root 40 what you should have is root 1200 so let me confirm if this answer i have here will be the same thing as what we have here 20 times 3 that is 60 60 times 20 gives us this okay so that's just how to check out so you you can use this to um, substitute this long process just pick each of the options provided and see if they are going to give you this as a product so let's go back to the options and select the correct option so look through the options provided and you will find option c okay 20 root 3 as the correct option like i said you can use the options to sort out your answer without having to use your calculator or your pen at all so this is remember 30 times 40 gives us root 1 200 so let's see if it gives us root 1 200 10 times 3 that is 30 30 times 10 that is 300 root 300 so that is incorrect we have 5 times 3 15 15 times 5 that should give us 75 that's root 75 is not close at all 20 times 3 that is 60 60 times 20 that is root 1 200 so you can look at this 15 times 3, that is 45 45 times 15 of course when you multiply that it will give you what we have here so that's just a shortcut compared to what we've done so remember your jump exam is about speed and accuracy so option c is very correct we strongly believe that this content is very helpful for you all you just need to do is to always hit the like button also click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alerts as soon as we upload the next video clip just for you number 53 if root 2x plus 2 minus root x gives us 1 find x so like i said in the previous clip okay um most times when it comes to or sometimes when it comes to your jump exam you have to be very fast and accurate so you can just pick these options provided and slot them in if they will give you one so let's pick one they said x is one twice so let's confirm that so if we replace x with one that is one here two times one that is two okay two plus two that is four we have square root here so square root of four is two so already from this part we have two standing okay then minus root x remember x is one square root of one is still one so it is two minus one is one so i can tell you that option a is correct so without wasting our time we may not need to consider the other options but for the sake of clarity okay let's try the other options we have zero okay so two times zero that is zero zero plus 2 that is 2 square root of 2 is around 1.4 there about so we have 1.4 here minus square root of 0 <laughs> so 1.4 minus 0 that is still 1.4 it doesn't give us 1 okay so you can see that is incorrect so this uh, the presence of the 0 here invalidates the answer the, or the option b so let's plot in 3 and see if it's going to give us 1 2 times 3 we have 6 6 plus 2 that is 8 square root of 8 is 2 point um i'm not really sure but 2 point um, some values okay then we have square root of 3 here yeah? all right we have 2 point something and then we have square root of 3 here yeah? is around 1.7 yeah thereabouts. so 2 minus 
1.7, 2. something minus 1.7 will not give us 1 exactly, okay? So this invalidates this option. Uh, we are having 2 twice, okay? Let's try that out. That is 2 times 2, that is 4. 4 times 2, that is 6, okay? Square root of 6. Um, we have um, 2 here. Yeah. Square root of 2 is around 1.4, like I said. So if you do all of this, um, simple matrix together, matrix together, it should not, it will not give you one. So the correct option here is x equals one twice. Remember, I said once you have confirmed your option, it is very okay for you. At least it's recommended that you skip the, the troubles of going through the other option. Pick your answer and go to the next question to attain your success and excellence. So option A is very correct. Number fifty-four. The sum of two numbers is 5, their product is minus 14, find the numbers, okay? Um, normally, I would have um, head towards the whiteboard platform, okay, our solution platform to start doing things, but I would like us to implement shortcuts, okay? So let's just follow the sentences that we have here. The sum of two numbers is 5, okay? So, we are told that when you add up these two numbers, they are going to give you 5. And when you multiply them, they are going to give you minus 14. So, let's use the options provided. We have 5 or 1. So, 5 plus 1 does not give us 5. Or 5 minus 1 doesn't give us 5. Okay, so this is out of it. 7 or 1. So, let's say 7 plus 1 gives us 8. 7 minus 1 gives us 6, not 5. So, that's out of it. So, we have 7 or 0. 7 plus 0 gives us 7, 7 minus 0 gives us 7, or 7 times 0 gives us 0, not minus 14. So this is also how. So let's consider option D, 7 or minus 2. So 7 plus minus 2, or 7 minus 2 gives us 5, that is set to. Then let's check for the product. 7 times minus 2 gives us minus 14. So the correct option here is option D, X is 7 or minus 2. Question 55. Solve the equation 5 raised to the power x minus 2 equals 1 divides 1 to 5, okay, x plus 3, you know. The first thing we do is to present the question here, okay. So we have our marker, our solution marker, and our solution platform, okay. So this is 5 raised to the power x minus 2 equals, remember this is 1 divides 1 over, two, 1 over 1 to 5, okay? This is it. 1 over 1 to 5. This also means, okay, 1 to 5 raised to the power minus 1, isn't it? And we know that 1 to 5 is 5 raised to the power 3, 2 brackets minus 1, and this means 5 raised to the power minus 3. 3 times minus 1 gives us minus 3. So all of this here, I can replace it with 5 raised to the power minus 3. So let's do that, okay? So we come back here. To where we have it so that will be 5 raised to the power minus 3 into bracket x isn't it so we have 5 raised to the power x minus 2 equals 5 raised to the power minus 3 times x i have minus 3x minus times plus i have minus 3 times 3 i have 9 so isn't it we have x i can remove the uh, the parentheses minus 3x minus 9. This is what I can do. I can collect like terms, okay? Collect like terms. So I can move this here or I can move whatever movement I want to do. So I, I decide to move this here. So this minus becomes plus. x plus 3x equals minus 9 plus 2. x plus 3x, that is 4x equals minus 9 plus 2, that is minus 7, okay? You hold 9 nera and you have 2 nera. Pay the 2 nera reduces your depth to 7 error. So since it's a depth, it's going to carry a negative value. So that is minus 7. Dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 4. So that implies x equals minus 7 over 4. So that's our answer. Let's go back to the screen to select the correct option. x equals minus 7 over 4. So look through the options provided and you will find that in option B. So option B is the correct option. Number 56. How many sides has a regular polygon whose interior angles are 120 degrees each? Okay, so 
uh, we can use the formula n minus 2 into bracket 180 over n or we can decide to use 180 minus 360 over n that n represents the number of sides so let's just slot in these options okay i think um, we're enjoying this shortcut uh, method we just introduced so we have 4 n equals to 4 let's assume n is equals to 4 let's is going to give us 180 okay so that will be 180 minus 360 over 4 okay remember the formula 180 minus 360 over n so n is 4 now so 360 divided by 4 that is 90 180 minus 90 gives us 90 not 120 so option a is gone option b we have 5 okay so let's slot um, 5 into the equation which is 180 minus 360 over n okay so we have um we have 5 here as our n so that will be 360 divided by 5 okay 5 in 36 that is 7 remainder 1 that gives you 72 so that is 180 minus 72 that is 102 not 120 so option b is invalid let's see option c remember the formula again 180 minus 360 over n okay so we have our n as 6 so 360 divided by 6 that is 60 180 minus 60 gives us 120 degrees so c is what we are looking for let's see confirm with option b if it has tendency to be the correct answer so remember the formula again 180 minus 360 over n when our n now is 3 so that will be 360 divided by 3 that is 120 okay so 180 minus 120 gives us 60 degrees which is not what we are looking for so option c is the correct option Please remember that you can ask your questions right now. All you need to do, click on the link provided in the description below. Okay, it's going to take you to the My School website where we have thousands of solution providers waiting to help you out. So, why not ask those questions right now? So, we have question 57. If duty is levied at 25%, find the duty to be added to a bill of 80 naira. Okay, already we have a bill of 80 naira and the duty is being levied as 25%. So that will be 25% of 80 naira. Okay, 25% of 80 naira. That is 25 over 100 of 80. All right, so when you divide that, it should give you 20. 25 over 100, that is 1 over 4. 1 fourth of 80, that is 20. 80 divided by 4 is 20. So the bill to be added is 20 naira. So option B is the correct option. Perhaps you've gone through our video clips and you see one or two questions that you would like to hide, hard ideas or explanations to, please would like to know. All you just need to do, use that comment section below, indicate that question number, the subject, the year, and the solutions you'd like to share. Number 58, simplify 2.04 times 3.7, leaving your answer in two decimal place okay to dp that is very very important so we have the question here so let's not forget two decimal places okay so what we can do here is to eliminate the decimal points okay so we are going to have something like this this will be 204 over 100 remember 100 zero, zero, okay and this is just one on the decimal point then zero okay that tells the times 37 over 10. Okay, there are different ways to change decimals to fraction. Okay, this is just one method I'm sharing with us. On the decimal point, you put 1, okay, then 0, 0 on the numbers that follow. Okay, so we have this. By the time we multiply 204 times 37, that should give us um, 7, 5, then we should have um, 4. When we multiply it, then 4, 8, 7, 5, 4, 8, yes, that's very correct. 100 times 10, that should give us 8,000, okay? So when we divide this, we should have, remember we have three zeros, so you are going to move 1, 2, 3, so it stops here, 7.548. So remember to two decimal places, that will be 7 point, okay? 8 transfers 1 here, so that will be 7.55. To two decimal places that is two numbers standing after the decimal point so this is what we have 7.55 so let's go back to the screen and see if we can find 7.55 in the options provided 
is 7.51, 7.71, 5.5, 7.55. So option D is very correct. Question 59. A public car dealer marked up the cost of a car at 30% in an attempt to make 20% gross profit. Due to the value of dollar, he now placed 20% discount okay, on the car. What profit or loss will he make? Okay, so we can see that um, the, there's, there's a kind of a marking up so that you can attain this 20% gross profit. Okay, so let's assume that the car is being uh, pushed out at 100%. Okay, so having an extra 20 to, or to eat an extra 20, that will be 20 plus 100, that gives us 120. So already we are looking at a, a push out of 120. So due to the value of dollar, in our place, 20% discount on the car. So that will be 20% of this 120, okay? So 20% of 120 should give us 24. That is 20 over 100 times 120, okay? So already we have 24. So we are now asked, what profit or loss will it make? If you take away that 24, from 120 what you should have is 96 so now he's not having 96 instead of 100 what has happened there has been a kind of loss for him so the loss now is four percent the hundred that the car was then now is now selling at 96 you can see so that tells you that he has made a loss of four percent so option c is the correct option Number 60, rationalize 5 divides 2 minus root 3. Okay, so uh, what we just have to do is to rationalize the denominator. Okay, so we're just going to use the issue of um, this conjugate. So this will just be times the opposite sign here, 2 plus root 3, okay, over the opposite sign, it multiplies both numerator and denominator. So when this multiplies, I'm going to have 5 into bracket 2 plus root 3 over 2 times 2, that is 4. Okay, 2 times plus root 3, I have plus 2 root 3. Okay, minus root 3 times 2, that will be minus 2 root 3. Okay, minus times my plus, that is minus root 3 times root 3 that is root 9 square root of 9 is 3 okay so from this end if i collect like times plus this minus this that is 0 okay so i have 4 minus 3 that is 1 okay so i'll be having 5 over 2 plus root 3 over 1 so if all of this divides 1 it's been divided by 1, we have 5 into bracket 2 plus root 3. That's our answer. So simple. So let's go back to the board to select the correct option. 5 into bracket 2 plus root 3. And I can tell that we can find that in option C. So option C is the correct option. Number 61. Factorize a square minus b square minus 4a plus 4. Okay, so we are just going to use the options to suggest okay, which of them is viable. Okay, so we have the first option, a plus b, a minus b. When you multiply this, or when you open up the brackets, what you should have is a square minus b square. Okay, let's consider option b. We have a minus 2 plus b, a minus 2 minus b. Okay, when you look at this closely, you can have an um, element of a square, all right? You can have an um, element of, rather, I have b, okay? We can have this. So, this is settled, but it's not yet um, well established. When you look at this, minus 2 times minus 2, I have um, plus 4, okay? Um, that is very close for me as well. Then, when you look at this, we have a 4a, you know, this minus 2 and this. So, this is a very good insinuation. It's just an insinuation. All right, so let's look at the next one we have here a plus one a minus two plus b okay when you look at this one times two that should give us um minus two not plus four okay we can't arrive at four because every other multiplication aside from these numbers will be attached to letters okay and what value that this number carries okay without a letter is four so the highest that we can attain from what i'm seeing here should be around uh, minus two or thereabouts so when you do this a plus b squared that is a plus b times a plus b you won't get the value of this 
okay where you can have max is um, a square plus b square all right plus uh, 2 a b yes i guess plus 2 a b so the most valuable option here without solving is option b okay but nevertheless for clarity's sake let's do this on the board okay so we have a minus 2 plus b then we have a minus 2 minus b so i'm picking on option b okay so let's do the multiplication one by one a times a we have a square all right so we have a times minus 2 we have minus 2a a times minus b we have minus a b okay this is for the first one then the next one minus 2 times a we have minus 2a minus 2 times minus 2 we have plus 4 all right minus 2 times minus b i have plus 2b so we move to the last letter we have b times a we have plus a b plus b times minus 2 we have minus 2 b plus b times minus b we have minus b square so if i try to put an order into this so we have a square all right minus b square so i have minus 2a minus 2a no now we are collecting like terms that should be minus 4a okay let's look around we have minus a b we are looking for a b we have plus a b so this is zero you can see this is struck out then i have we've used this already so let's take it out we've used this all right so we have um plus four is there any other value with four no so we have plus four okay let's still look around we have two b plus two b minus two b that is zero so if you look through all of these that we have we have used them up one two three oh sorry three then four okay it's completed so you can see this gives us the equation that we have or the values that we have as our question so the correct option is option b we can confirm that from our screen so we have option b as the correct option question 62 given that x equals 2 over 3 okay where 0 degrees all of this then 90 degrees find the value of 2 sine x okay just tap out the key things from here this is telling that this is a right angle triangle okay so we have to find the value of 2 sine x so this is what we have here we have to find 2 sine x okay all right so this is telling you that um, we are using a right angle triangle right so if i have this remember tan theta is opposite over adjacent okay so the opposite this is two adjacent is three and remember our hypotenuse square equals opposite square all right plus adjacent square okay hypotenuse square equals opposite is two so two raised to the power two that is four plus adjacent square that is three three raised to the power two that is nine okay so four plus nine is thirteen so our hypotenuse will be square root of thirteen so we can apply it here isn't it very simple so we are asked to look for two sine x okay two sine x and you remember that um sine x equals opposite over hypotenuse isn't it so that is opposite is giving us two hypotenuse is gotten as 13 okay so this replacing sine x with 2 over 13 we should have 2 times 2 over sine over 13 rather over root 13 okay because we know sine x is 2 over root 13 so that is 2 times 2 over root 13 so 2 times 2 that is 4 over root 13 okay if we try to rationalize this 4 over root 13 that will be times root 13 
over root 13. 4 times root 13, that is 4 root 13 over root 13 times root 13, that is root 169. Square root of 169 is still 13. So our answer is 4 root 13 over 13. So let's go back to the board to select the correct option. 4 root 13 over 13. So carefully look through the options provided and you will find it in option C, 4 root 13 over 13. So option C is correct. Right there, we've come to the end of this segment. But of course, you know that there are more video clips to come. All you just need to do is to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get alerts as soon as we upload the next video clips just for you.